Uh, we farm in Shawnee Township, which is in central Indiana. We're probably between 7,000 and 8,000 in that area this year. We've used more ESN because we do have the ability to use a, a lower rate of pounds per N per acre because the ESN does not get used up as fast as the anhydrous. On a wet year, ESN has a tendency to work even better than it does on a dry year because it does not go into the soil as it releases nitrogen just because you're getting a lot of water. It's a more of a slow release whether you have a lot of water or an average amount of water. Farmers have a tendency to want to put on like 200 pounds of nitrogen. That's so that they can carry it through until they get the time to fill the year. That's an expensive way to put on nitrogen. And with the ESN, you can put on less pounds of nitrogen per acre and still expect to have your ears filled, filled at the end of the season. You can actually put on your ESN anytime you want in the spring and it will be there available for, for the fill of the year. And when you come to a field that, that the yield, it kind of stood out. If you look back in the records and every time you see that that was an ESN field, then of course you're going to think next year I'd like to use more ESN. It will probably not be our practice to mix ESN with anything. It's a good product, it'll stand alone, it will provide enough nitrogen to your crop from the time it comes up until the time you fill the year. That's the goal of farming.